And hello, everyone. I'm, of course, Max Atlas Anderson, joined by the glorious Richard Pulse Cam. How are you doing, my friend? Are you ready to analyze some sick 1v1? I am. They let me here as a color caster. When I walked to the desk, I actually tried to stand there because it's so weird <laughs> walking there every day of your life and then walking to this side of the desk actually felt weird, but great to be here. Yeah, most certainly is. And I'm excited to have you here as well because we've got two very heavyweight lineups here at the same time because CIS versus Turkey, like these are the top dogs of both of their groups. Absolutely. And you take a look at like Kira as well. He won the 1v1 tournament last time. He carried his team to All-Stars literally by himself. So We'll see if Kira can do that. Uh, a lot of the teams don't seem to have too much faith in their junglers, however. It's just like, yeah, well, yeah. they just farm the minion camps all day, so they don't know how to duel anyone. Yeah, I really like the fact that it's uh, sort of Lex's Renekton that was the big problem. And speaking of which, he's going to be starting things off for the CIS region. Of course, Crystal is going to be on the other side <laughs> for Turkey. So we've got the Renekton player, of course, lost that 1v1 against a cannon. It was Kami's cannon from Brazil. And uh, he lost that at level two. Yeah. So things didn't go so well. However, Crystal also not necessarily with, uh, you know, a lot of faith from his team. That's true. So pretty down in the tier list. So it's yeah. actually interesting in terms of theory, right? It's like, yeah. do you want to send out your best players first? Do you send out like a likes of Kira and then you just blast them, try and get those early points? Or do you send out your meat shield and have them just die first and then you send in the big guns? Yeah, well, if we go back to what we did in OCE versus EU, yeah. we did do a little bit of that. I mean, I was first cab off the rank and it was... Uh, definitely not because I was the best player. But you were the team. superior meat shield. You did take out Sifa, so... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just got three points right off the bat. I'm going to put that down on my resume, I think. Superior meat shield. Got it nailed. But Top we are tier. into the champion select here as Caitlyn and Nasus have already been taken away on the side of Team Ice as Kennen is going to be removed. Crystal does not want to deal with that one. Of course, I would have assumed that Lex would have banned that one considering the fact that he was knocked out by that. And Rengar is going to be the final ban here on the side of Lex. If I was Crystal, gone. I would BM Lex and just ban Renekton, um, just oh, to send a message. Because honestly, you've banned out all of the high tier picks. Maybe Syndra is there as well if you want to take that one away. But in terms of mechanical skill, you have an ADC and a jungler. So who's going to play Syndra anyway? Twitch is the final ban. That's interesting, but uh, that does leave it a lot open, such as the Syndra. Oh my goodness, do it, Crystal. Don't be scared. Just eat it. That is, that is the perfect answer, right? Just going to eat you. Stop. I don't know if it is the perfect answer. We'll see if he actually locks it in, but we see another misfortune, which is uh, pretty yeah. cool. We saw the 1v1 misfortune yesterday. Oh my god, he's doing it. He's actually done it. Okay. We have unclogged the frog in <laughs> 1v1. Unbottled the axolotl. <laughs> We could be here all day doing we this, could. but Lex is back to the misfortune. Of course, it is a power pick here. We've seen her band away a few times that uh, make it rain being relatively strong, but we haven't seen all that much Thunderlords, which is odd because, I mean, that was the, the big tactic, wasn't it, with the, the misfortune? Yeah, pretty much. You put the Thunderlords on and then you get the proc coming in from make it rain. Uh, the other tactic I was thinking maybe yesterday we might see, at least in the mirror matchup, is you actually just go full AD and yep. you actually max uh, the double up. So you can get that one golden double up that just chunks your opponent for half their health. In a matchup, like this where it's a battle of attrition against Tam Kench, you'll probably see the Thunderlords come out. Yeah, and we actually did see the you know the, the the double up start actually win out yesterday when we saw the MF mirror match. So we'll see whether it does happen again. But I'm just excited about a Tom Kench. I actually yeah. don't care what's Me going too. to happen. Well, I mean, we saw him wreck face in top lane yesterday, yeah. but I just don't know how he'll perform in that 1v1 because you have the lick, and then, yes, you can eat a minion. You have actually decent wave clear against the Misfortune, so he can constantly shove yep. her in early. So we might see, like, a Devour Max or something like that because you're not going to get the Tongue Lash <laughs> on Misfortune constantly in that 1v1. Yeah, no, you're not. And, you know, minion waves exist. Exactly right. And she's going to have the make it rain. She's going to stop him from walking at you. Like, the kite potential is most certainly there. However, we're going to see how it works as we are going to have a look at the frog as we hop onto the Howling Abyss. Misfortune just doesn't want to be on the fountain anymore. We want to start this one off as quickly as possible as Lex is making it up this glorious bridge to potentially her doom at the hands of of a frog. Yeah, I think he's good. I mean, Lex is not up against Superman right here, so he should be able to <laughs> at least take him in this 1v1. How do you know? I, mean, I don't this know. Is I'm making Hench. a prediction. I'm the analyst here. Oh, yeah, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah. So you got to take my word as gospel, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just not used to it. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Well, who's who's better at the uh, the emote spam? Though? I mean, that's that's the real battle that's going on right now. Misfortune's I mean, top tier. 
She is. Well, her uh, laugh is incredibly frustrating. I'll give you that one. Did you know there are five champions in the game which you can actually uh, repeat your emote? So you just uh, spam constantly. Nasus is one of them. Heimerdinger. Very <laughs> annoying to play against. See, this is what we've been missing with Pulse as the play-by-play. -play. We don't get this gold in <laughs> this the analysis is, This is the analysis you're spam. looking for, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, Lex has sorry. immediately gotten the... Uh, control over the minions, though, which is to be expected because you're against Tam Kench. Um, you want seven minions, that gets you level two, but it doesn't matter when you're actually not really fighting over them. So Crystal needs to wait a bit until uh, he actually gets a couple levels. What did he go for? for he went for Tongue Lash first. So I would have preferred him to go to Bower here, Atlas, so he could actually push back. Um, but he's having a pretty rough time, so he's going to have to CS under tower. Oh, should be able to get there just fine. Double up, not going to find the Tom Kench as he's just waddling around. And what is going to be the strategy here? Is like Crystal, is he forced to go for some sort of level three all in, something like that? Does he want to hit a specific level? I could imagine Abyssal Voyage is going to do practically zero on this map as far as getting him an upper hand in a 1v1 scenario. Yep, uh, that's pretty true, considering his passive was, of course, moved to uh, his actual passive, his innate. So he doesn't need his ultimate. He doesn't get a power spike. Yeah. Um, and also, he can't instantly interrupt the Misfortune ultimate unless he's in range and has the stack. So it doesn't seem like a particularly good matchup for Ultra in the, in the mid lane. Um, maybe catfish, Crystal I should knows say. Someone's going to yell at me. <laughs> maybe he knows something that we don't about the... <laughs> so that's what the I'm power thinking of too. The frog. I'm thinking that too, because we saw the Trondle yesterday, and unanimously, all the analysts and, and pretty much everyone watching was like, "This is awful." Uh, but then he was gifted two opportunities to win and didn't take them. So in this matchup, we might yeah, see Crystal. Yeah, I was about to remind you, like he did just he almost straight up yeah, lose almost that. Dumped like, him. Oh goodness. Um, but we'll have to see, because. If I was the Tam Kench, I would have maxed Devourer and just tried to push out the wave. Now he's level 3. Uh, it reveals a little more about what he's thinking. Oh, there's the lick, there's the snowball. Crystal's looking for the gobble and is going to find it. He'll throw all oh, the emote spam as well, stunning the minions, doing some work. The exhaust goes down. He knows exactly what he's doing. Lex throws down the barrier, but is it going to be enough as this is a hungry frog and he's going to take him down? What did I just witness? You just witnessed... A frog turning it all around. No longer will he be food on the plate. He will be the one eating you, and it most certainly happened.